this is part two of a three-part series of how to get rid of acne scarring and hyperpigmentation so finish this one first see how you feel if you like it then go ahead and watch my first video on getting rid of acne scarring and hyperpigmentation I'll uh, put it in the cards right here as well Today we're going to be talking about exfoliation and its role in getting rid of hyperpigmentation and acne scars. You know we need to get rid of them. By the end of this video, we all would have gone through some valuable tips that can help you improve your exfoliation situation. So a quick explanation about the exfoliants that we'll be talking about today in this video. But first, let's clarify. This is not an apricot scrub video. It's not a sugar scrub video. This is not a coffee scrub video. It's not any of that. And you know what? I don't knock physical exfoliation, but I don't believe in it in terms of getting rid of hyperpigmentation and acne scarring. So we'll be discussing chemical exfoliants and retinol for people who actually want to be gentle with their skin but still get results and uh, not spend a ton of money unnecessarily. First acid that we're going to be talking about is lactic acid. So lactic acid is an AHA and that just means that it actually has humectant properties, it's water soluble, so it's basically just exfoliating that top layer of skin really nicely. It's not penetrating into your pores like um, a BHA would. We did some research and sensitive skin and skin of colour and deeper skin tones, it's good to go for the 5 to 7%, so not too high. Let's talk about azelaic acid. Have you heard about her? I don't really hear many people talking about this one unless they're fully inside of the skincare community and they really know what they're doing. I feel like she's very underrated. She needs to have her moment. It's so the best kept secret because it's such a great exfoliant for sensitive skin types. Azelaic acid occurs naturally in our skin. There's a huge array of skincare benefits that you can get from applying it topically. The best thing about azelaic acid is that it not only deals with hyperpigmentation and acne marks, it deals with acne as well. It's basically like just the perfect thing if you do kind of struggle with acne prone skin and then if you do have a deeper skin tone and you deal with acne scarring and hyperpigmentation then it's really going to be your best friend. Up to 20% is considered highly effective. That's a percentage that you can only get from your derm. So look for the 10% and the 5% and kind of like build your way up. And if you do end up needing more, then you can go ahead and tell your dermatologist that you would like a higher prescription of azelaic acid. So mandelic acid. Mandelic acid is also an AHA. So that means it is exfoliating that top layer. It's kind of helping uh, those new cells come out. And delic acid is ideal for sensitive skin types because it actually has the largest molecule of all other AHAs. Because of this, it actually has a lesser chance of irritating the skin. The mandelic acid is good at about 10 to 20%. I would always just suggest starting with the lowest percentage and just seeing how you go on from there. There's no need to always lean towards those higher percentages. The higher percentages don't always mean more bang for your buck. It can actually like mean more burn for your face, especially if you have sensitive skin and especially if you have pigmented skin because you don't want to deal with any rashes, any anything that can lead to scarring, which can lead to you having to do even more of these treatments. Start slow um, and give yourself time. There's, the skin cycle is, I'll put over here what the skin cycle is, like how long it is, because I forgot on the spot. So just give it time to work if you feel like after three days, you don't see the full on glow. Like if you don't look like Beyonce within three days, don't throw out the product yet. All of my friends that know me tell me that I remind them of Beyonce. Give yourself six to eight weeks to look like Beyonce. Give yourself time. Give it time. Salicylic acid. 
This is one that I feel like a lot of us have heard of, right? Like, if you're acne prone, you've probably heard of salicylic acid before. Like, it might give you a little bit of, of uh, PTSD. But it really does work, but it all depends on the percentages and the formulations, of course. So salicylic acid is great for skin uh, that is sensitive, and it's great for pigmented skin. When talking about salicylic acid, we are basically talking about the only BHA in skincare. So it differs from an AHA uh, to a BHA is that instead of just exfoliating on the top level it's more so penetrating the pores and it's oil soluble instead of water soluble so BHAs can cut through greasy pores if you have acne prone skin so this is a really good one if you're looking for it to get rid of, of uh, hyperpigmentation and acne scarring it's gonna be uh, going for more of like a 2% and higher because that's gonna actually exfoliate the skin. But if you're looking to just calm your inflammation and uh, kind of stop hyperpigmentation in its tracks, then you can go for uh, a 0 0.5 to a little bit lower than a 2%. Retinol is the gold standard in skincare. Like it does so much because what it's doing, it's, it's making your skin cells reproduce faster. So it's making your skin appear smoother. It's making, you know, it's bringing out the best in your skin. It's this amazing ingredient, also known as vitamin A. Retinol exfoliates the skin. This leads to an evening out of the tone. It leads to getting rid of your acne scars and hyperpigmentation and lots of smoothing of the skin and smoothing of texture in general. It's actually quite fantastic, all of the things that it can do. Let me know if you've ever tried retinol before or any of these other exfoliators. I'd really love to know. Put it in the comments below. And also, if you liked part two, I know you're gonna go and watch part one. So go ahead, I'm gonna get out your way. I'm gonna step out the way and let you click.